Looking ahead, some new faces will watch over the future of an old Horry County school site. That's right, our Eric Richards joins us in studio telling us who they are and what they plan to do. Well, Rachel and Eric, we don't know who they are just yet. Mystery. But, yes, yeah, right. But uh, Conway City Council did vote unanimously today to create a new task force who will weigh in on what to do with the old Whittemore Elementary School. Nearly a dozen people will make up the force and will have to vote on the future plans for the historic site. What we would like as a as an action from council at, at the end of this presentation is a motion to create a task force um, that clearly sets forth the goal of the task force. Today's decision was a long time coming as the school's future was in jeopardy for months following a fire this spring that torched nearly all of what was left. The blaze forced the city's hand as council voted earlier this year to knock down the rest of the abandoned school and start over from scratch. The city of Conway currently owns the 10 acre site and the remaining structure. The task force would consist of 11 individuals from within the Conway community, including two council members to gauge the needs of the community and weigh input on what should go there. I certainly would want this to sunset within 180 days. Uh, surely, uh, the caliber of people, the, their interests, their knowledge, all that's been said and shared over the last several years uh, makes me believe that there should be no reason that this can't be satisfied and a full recommendation be brought to council uh, within six months of it. Cheryl Adamson, president of the Whittemore Race Path Historical Society, believes the task force should be able to get something done sooner. I think there's too much time. I think that we have gone around this mountain long enough uh, with the proper resources we could have something within 30 to 45 days. As for what that something would be is yet to be determined, but Adamson has some ideas. Well, what we envision uh, at this point, because the, the building is gone, would be a restoration or a, a replication of something resembling what was there. Now, there could be a recreation, a performing arts center, or maybe even some form of affordable housing on that land. All of that, though, is still up in the air as the task force heads to the drawing board with some fresh ideas. We expect, though, for this to be on the next council agenda, which will be on the 18th. Eric Richards, WMBF News.